Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here with QNAP taking a look at some of their uh, new NAS products, uh, network attached storage devices. But these are not just for storing uh, data and backing up your data. They're basically little computers that you could use as media centers or other uh, sorts of things. They're quiet, they're fanless, uh, and they can hang out by your TV and store massive amounts of data, or at least the larger one can. So the littler one is called the TBS 453DX. It has an Intel Celeron J4105 processor. That's, I think, a 10 watt Intel Gemini Lake uh, dual core or quad core? Um, I believe uh, it's quad core. Quad core chip, up to 2.5 uh, gigahertz. It supports up to 8 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, does it ship with four or? Um, it comes disless. So okay. Just, yeah, you put in your own. You put in your own memory as well. Oh no, it has memory. Right. Um, so does it come with a four gigabyte memory card? Uh, four gig, yeah. Four yeah. Gig. But you. Up there's two. There's two models, four gig and an eight gig. So okay. There's two, there's so two. so depending on which one you uh, you purchase, you can uh, you can get that option. It supports four M.2 uh, storage devices, so you can have redundant storage, or you can just sort of put more storage in if it's cheaper to buy a bunch of those. Uh, it is really small. Uh, I mean, relatively speaking, I've seen smaller computers, but not not a lot with uh, the versatility that you get with this particular one. And interestingly, it also has multiple uh, audio ports. It's got two microphone inputs as well as a um, um, audio output. So I guess you could use a karaoke app or whatever. Um, there's a much larger model, which I'm not going to try and pick up with one hand. Can you actually grab that for me and show me the back? So this version is significantly heavier, but it's got room under the hood for not only two M.2 slots, but also for two 3.5 inch hard drives. And so you can actually pull them out um, from here and uh, swap them, uh, clone them, do whatever it is that you need to do. So if you wanted to have you know, twice as much storage, you could do that, or you could have them arranged as RAID drives so that you could uh, duplicate your entire media collection. So this is probably more fitting for somebody who wants to store terabytes of data uh, as opposed to uh, you know some smaller gigabytes of data that you could probably do on an M2 card. Uh, of course, the hard drives won't be quite as fast, but for media storage, it should be fine. And you can use the M2 for, uh, for other things if you wanted to. Uh, so these are the latest products from QNAP. They're um, uh, available now, I believe, right? They, um, they will be in the next, probably the next month or so. They're going on sale. Uh, so in the, the next few months. Okay, so it's it's January uh, 2019 as we shoot this video, and these should be available soon. And um, again, we got a small sort of fanless device and a larger, more versatile uh, device, and uh, it's part of a larger line of products that this company sells, mostly focusing on more uh, robust storage solutions, either uh, sort of dual bay home solutions like that one over there, which is actually pretty similar to the one that I've got at home, or uh, you know, this seems like uh, something you're more likely to use in a corporate setting for, um, you know, larger amounts. Yeah, uh, this, this one's actually our Thunderbolt now, so you mm -hmm. can use it like a, a small, medium business. Mm -hmm. but what's kind of distinct about this mm -hmm. is you have two Thunderbolt 3 ports in the back mm -hmm. and 10 gigs. So this is, we designed it for creatives, like audio, I mean, like video guys, photo guys that uh, use like Blackmagic or Adobe, kind of working on editing editing something that mm -hmm. they want to connect directly on the Mac to, thund to via Thunderbolt to the NAS. They have that option and it also has 10 gigs, so you can, it's good for collaboration. Collaboration. You have multiple people uh, working on an editing job, and all stored in one location. Right. So you've got you know massive amounts of storage. It's basically it, they're basically all computers, is what right. they are. But they're exactly. running they're running a custom Linux-based operating system called QTS or yeah, something. QTS. And um, and you can break out of that. I know there are some people who actually just use them as Linux computers, or you can run a virtual machine uh, hosted on these as well. Exactly. And this particular model is one of the more powerful yet, with a Core i5 8400T processor. Uh, it's a much higher power, higher performance uh, six-core processor when compared with the lower power systems in the fanless uh, models. So again, quick look at some of the new products that QNAP is showing off at the beginning of 2019. Uh, some are uh, currently available and some are coming uh, pretty soon. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah.